Welcome to Electron Online. And what do you do when you are farsighted? Farsighted means you can see things clearly when they're far away, but you have a trouble seeing them when you bring them up close, when you want to read a book, for example. And typically, you want to bring a book at a comfortable reading distance, and that's typically assumed to be about 25 centimeters or 10 inches away. So you want the object distance to be 25 centimeters, but if you do that, then you're farsighted. You're not going to be able to see the letters or be able to distinguish the letters. It's just going to be like a sea of characters, and you can't really make anything out. And then, of course, when you put the book farther away, then you can focus on it, but then it's so far away, you can barely make out the letters because they're too small at that distance. So what do you need? You need corrective vision. You need converging lenses in such a way that they will form an image at the location of what we call the near point, the nearest point that you can see clearly. See, so if you're farsighted, that means there's a point beyond which you can see things clearly, but be, uh, within that distance, you can't see anything. And so that's called the nearest point for, at which you can see things clearly. So what you need to do is put on some glasses that will cause an image to occur at the near point where you can see it clearly. All right, how do you find that near point? We use the lens equation, 1 over f equals 1 over s plus 1 over s prime. So we want the object distance to be at 25 centimeters, so 1 over f is equal to 1 over 25 plus 1 over s prime. Now, s prime needs to be at the near point, and let's say your near point is 50 centimeters away. That means your image distance needs to be 50 centimeters away from the lens, but of course, since the image is in front of the lens, that means it's a negative image distance. It's a virtual image. So we want minus 50 centimeters here because the image needs to be formed in front of the lens. So S prime is equal to minus 50 centimeters. All right, let's then work out what this is equal to. Well, to add those two together, we need a common denominator. So we have one over F is equal to two over 50. If I multiply both the numerator and denominator by two, minus one over 50. And then if we continue over here, we have 1 over f is equal to 2 over 50 minus 1 over 50, which is 1 over 50. And then if we flip the equation around, we have f is equal to 50 over 1, or 50 centimeters. So you need a converging lens that has a focal length of 50 centimeters to see clearly. Now, of course, you don't go to the store and buy a lens that says f equals 50 centimeters. You want to find the power, which is 1 over the focal length in meters. So that means we have to convert this to meters, which is equal to 0.5 meters. Of course, remember that a positive focal length means it's a converging lens. So the power is equal to 1 over 0.5 meters, which means that the power is equal to 2 diopters. Diopters is the units used for the power of the lens. And plus 2 means that it's a positive lens or a converging lens. So you need to go down to your drugstore and find some reading glasses that says that the power is two diopters, right? And that's how you correct your vision. Now let's do an example next where the near point is even farther away, so far away that you can't even stretch your arms to see the letters. So what would you have to do then? All right, let's find out. 